in Einstein's theory of general relativity, the Schwarzschild metric is the solution to the Einstein field equations that describes the gravitational field outside a spherical mass, on the assumption that the electric charge of the mass, angular momentum of the mass, and universal cosmological constant are all zero. The solution is a useful approximation for describing slowly rotating astronomical objects such as many stars and planets, including Earth and the Sun. The solution is named after Carl Schwarzschild, who first published the solution in 1916. According to Birkhoff's theorem, the Schwarzschild metric is the most general spherically symmetric, vacuum solution of the Einstein field equations. A Schwarzschild black hole or static black hole is a black hole that has no charge or angular momentum. A Schwarzschild black hole is described by the Schwarzschild metric, and cannot be distinguished from any other Schwarzschild black hole except by its mass. The Schwarzschild black hole is characterized by a surrounding spherical surface, called the event horizon, which is situated at the Schwarzschild radius, often called the radius of a black hole. Any non-rotating and non-charged mass that is smaller than its Schwarzschild radius forms a black hole. The solution of the Einstein field equations is valid for any mass m, so in principle a Schwarzschild black hole of any mass could exist if conditions became sufficiently favorable to allow for its formation. The Schwarzschild metric. In Schwarzschild coordinates, the line element for the Schwarzschild metric has the form. Where, is the proper time? C is the speed of light, T is the time coordinate, is the radial coordinate, I is the co-latitude, I is the longitude, and, is the Schwarzschild radius of the massive body, a scale factor which is related to its mass m by Rs equals 2 grams per carat 2, where G is the gravitational constant. The analog of this solution in classical Newtonian theory of gravity corresponds to the gravitational field around a point particle. In practice, the ratio or SR is almost always extremely small. For example, the Schwarzschild radius RS of the Earth is roughly 8.9 mm, while the Sun, which is 3.3 a, 105 times as massive has a Schwarzschild radius of approximately 3.0 km. Even at the surface of the Earth, the corrections to Newtonian gravity are only one part in a billion. The ratio only becomes large close to black holes and other ultra-dense objects such as neutron stars. The Schwarzschild metric is a solution of Einstein's field equations in empty space, meaning that it is valid only outside the gravitating body. That is, for a spherical body of radius of the solution is valid for R, R. To describe the gravitational field both inside and outside the gravitating body the Schwarzschild solution must be matched with some suitable interior solution at R equals R. History, the Schwarzschild solution is named in honor of Carl Schwarzschild, who found the exact solution in 1915 and published it in 1916, a little more than a month after the publication of Einstein's theory of general relativity. It was the first exact solution of the Einstein field equations other than the trivial flat space solution. Schwarzschild died shortly after his paper was published, as a result of a disease he contracted while serving in the German army during World War I. Johannes Drost in 1916 independently produced the same solution as Schwarzschild, using a simpler, more direct derivation. In the early years of general relativity there was a lot of confusion about the nature of the singularities found in the Schwarzschild and other solutions of the Einstein field equations. In Schwarzschild's original paper, he put what we now call the event horizon at the origin of his coordinate system. In this paper he also introduced what is now known as the Schwarzschild radial coordinate, as an auxiliary variable. In his equations, Schwarzschild was using a different radial coordinate that was zero at the Schwarzschild radius. A more complete analysis of the singularity structure was given by David Hilbert in the following year, identifying the singularities both at R equals zero and R equals Rs. Although there was general consent that the singularity at R equals zero was a genuine physical singularity, the nature of the singularity at R equals Rs remained unclear. In 1921 Paul Payne Lever copyright and in 1922 Alva Goldstrand independently produced a metric, a spherically symmetric solution of Einstein's equations, which we now know as coordinate transformation of the Schwarzschild metric, Goldstrand a Euro Payne Lever copyright coordinates, in which there was no singularity at R equals Rs. They, 
however, did not recognize that their solutions would just coordinate transforms, and in fact used their solution to argue that Einstein's theory was wrong. In 1924 Arthur Eddington produced the first coordinate transformation that showed that the singularity at R equals RS was a coordinate artifact, although he also seems to have been unaware of the significance of this discovery. Later, in 1932, George's lemma registered trademark to gave a different coordinate transformation to the same effect and was the first to recognize that this implied that the singularity at R equals RS was not physical. In 1939 Howard Robertson showed that a free-falling observer descending in the Schwarzschild metric would cross the R equals RS singularity in a finite amount of proper time even though this would take an infinite amount of time in terms of coordinate time t. In 1950, John Singe produced a paper that showed the maximal analytic extension of the Schwarzschild metric, again showing that the singularity at R equals RS was a coordinate artifact and that it represented two horizons. A similar result was later rediscovered by George Sikiers, and independently Martin Kruskal. The new coordinates nowadays known as kruskal sikiers coordinates were much simpler than Singes but both provided a single set of coordinates that covered the entire space-time. However, perhaps due to the obscurity of the journals in which the papers of Lemma registered trademarked and Singe were published their conclusions went unnoticed with many of the major players in the field including Einstein believing that singularity at the Schwarzschild radius was physical. Progress was only made in the 1960s when the more exact tools of differential geometry entered the field of general relativity, allowing more exact definitions of what it means for a Lorentzian manifold to be singular. This led to definitive identification of the R equals RS singularity in the Schwarzschild metric as an event horizon. Singularities and black holes. The Schwarzschild solution appears to have singularities at R equals zero and R equals RS. Some of the metric components blow up at these radii. Since the Schwarzschild metric is only expected to be valid for radii larger than the radius R of the gravitating body, there is no problem as long as R, RS. For ordinary stars and planets, this is always the case. For example, the radius of the Sun is approximately 700,000 km, while its Schwarzschild radius is only 3 km. The singularity at R equals RS divides the Schwarzschild coordinates in two disconnected patches. The exterior Schwarzschild solution with R, RS is the one that is related to the gravitational fields of stars and planets. The interior Schwarzschild solution with zero a permeal currency L0, is called a Schwarzschild black hole. It is a perfectly valid solution of the Einstein field equations, although it has some rather bizarre properties. Brah. 